everybody, welcome back to my 30 Days to Die series. It's the morning of day 8, another 25 minutes, and that sun will be up and we'll be back outside working. Now, I was originally thinking, let's have a look at the map real quick here. So I was really thinking, really thinking about using this building here as the horde base, but I think what I want to do, because this has kind of got an outlined fence around it and everything, I think what I want to do is I want to fortify this church. I want to make this the home base. So we're going to spend some time going around, checking out these graves today. Um, and I want to see how feasible it is to build a wall around here. Um, I've got a bunch of um, flagstone blocks made. Now, 135 is not going to really do a whole lot around this place. We might get one full level in. Um, if we have a look at the map, we might get one full level in of blocks around the outside, but I'm going to wait till we get some more. Um, and um, because I'm recording these episodes a fair bit ahead of time, like this episode will most likely be out. Like right now, I'm recording this on Sunday, which is Father's Day, the 16th. Uh, this one will most likely be out, you know, end of next week. Um, I'm kind of behind in comments. So one of the comments was that I should be marking um, this um, mine here on the map, which is what I did. Uh, so I got it marked on the map. We're going to go hit that up probably tomorrow. Um, see if we can get some iron and stuff. But the goal for today is to do one of two things or to do two things. Um, First of all, we want to uh, check how good it's going to be to fortify this place and start working on that. And the second thing will be um, is getting our skill up in hammer and forge because now we can make iron tools and stuff and weapons. So we're going to work on uh, doing this too, getting our extra skill point, which won't take very long. Getting one skill point, throw it in there, we can make some iron tools and weapons. Now we do have you know, an iron pick and an um, iron fire axe, but we can make a higher level one. Uh, we definitely want to get a modifier on this pickaxe as well. So that's the goal. So let's have a look. I heard a zombie out here last night, so we're going to have a look around. There you are. He spotted me already. What's up, Mo? How was your night last night? He doesn't seem like you're having a good morning. I'm hearing somebody else. Probably in this building. We got to clear that building at some point, uh, but yeah. So my goal, you know, we got this little fence around here. Um, we either build. Most likely, what we'll do is we'll build on the outside of this fence. Uh, actually, maybe not because this fence is actually into the next block, which means we'd be building along here. So maybe we do build it on the inside. Um, I don't know. We'd have to figure it out how we're going to do it here. Let's go, let's go grave robbing. The other thing too is we'd have to um, smash all these gravestones. I mean, we could dig up all the graves too. Not opposed to a bit of grave grave robbing since the entire world has gone to shit. Um, so that's the other pro that's the other thing we could do too. Uh, but what I want to do definitely, I guess I should have my looter goggles on if I'm going to do this. Got to keep remembering to change those. Uh, I want to clear the trees around here. And I think what we'll end up doing, like I said, is at least have the first three levels of um, our main base here. So up to here, this will all be reinforced concrete. So if the zombies do break through, at least it's you know going to be relatively well protected. We're going to smash all this out because um, we definitely don't need this back door. Uh, at least not for the zombies to get up to, that is. And what we'll do is we're going to have our this door platform extend out to here and then we'll build a little base right here where we're going to hold down the horde I think uh, and then if we have to retreat back into our main house we can go ahead and do that uh, so I think that's what we'll do I don't ever foresee us having to retreat back here though but you never know right you may end up with a nasty horde in which case you're like you know you have to retreat let's take all this out I love the fire axe for how much damage it does just don't like it because it uses a ton of stamina. I understand from what I've heard a little bit about, um, if we're in Alpha 17.4, I've heard Alpha 18, um, it's going to um, remove the stamina issue. Getting a little bit of wood here. Now we want to make sure we can, we're going to be building all this out of reinforced concrete. So what we're probably going to end up doing um, is going mining. Hey, there's somebody over there. We're going to go mining and grab some iron and then we'll make rebar frames that will come out and we'll just cover it in concrete because then it'll go to reinforce concrete right away 
So we've got a little bit of time, like I said, before um, we really start building. It's weird. I put these goggles on and it, it just feels like, maybe I'm wrong, it just feels like I, I don't find as much as when I have them off. The stuff isn't necessarily better either. But it's only plus 50, so it isn't that much. Did we check this one already? Nope. Plastic schematic, okay. Bird's nest. So let's clear the trees around our base. Because I'm thinking if we build a wall out here, right, surround it's gonna be a lot of work, but surround it with wood spikes, right? That way this we can we can put our forge and everything in our house, not have to worry about screamers getting to our house. I hear a zombie out here somewhere. Let's draw him over here by making some noise. Okay, we only want these guys. They're a pain in the ass at the start, like this, like I said. Yay! Now we can go ahead and grab uh, iron tools, man. Boom. Cool. Once we go back inside, we're going to build ourselves some iron tools. Okay. Oh, there you are. Should we axe this guy? See ya! Alright. So, yeah, that's how they grow when they grow full full like full like height. Which is great, because, you know, you can totally see underneath them. You can see around them. Don't have to worry about people sneaking up on you or chopping them down. So we're going to need wood because we're going to reinforce this entire building all the way up to the top, the roof and everything. I want to get up in there too at some point. Um, that's going to be a kind of a, a look down area, I think. We need lots of eggs too. We're starting to run out, running out of bacon and eggs. Got like six left, I think. So we've only got like two eggs, I think, in our uh, storage. So the more eggs we can find, the better. All right, let's plant these trees out here a little bit. So let's two, three. There's kind of a way to do this. There we go. Just plant them in a row. Okay, gonna clear some of this out. I hate these things. Hey, you. What's up, Axer? Okay. Let's take this tree down. And let's grab you out of the way. Pick up the stones because addicted to stones. Okay. The other thing I'd like to try and do today. Um, four. Here we go. Um, is to... Maybe go back to the, um, um, the, uh, guy, the, my God, I can't even think today. Auto parts store. Like, what can I think? I don't know. Go back to the auto parts store and hit them up and see if we can, um, break into those safes that are there. Okay, let's leave you for now. Let's clear this tree out over here. Clear these out. Okay, let's take this one. Then we got one more kind of in front of our house. I want to have a, at least ability to be able to see a good distance. Probably what I'll end up doing is we'll make the wall around our base like maybe four high. Uh, reinforce concrete. And then uh, with it being four high, we'll have like... Um, a little platform that we can kind of walk around on to see down if there's any zombies outside of our house. That way if we get any mini hordes or anything like that we can just kind of go out and you can get some experience by killing them. The, the uh, spikes won't give us any experience. We're definitely going to need lots of uh, wood for the spikes for sure. 
So one of the things we're definitely going to have to do is spend lots of time chopping trees, unfortunately. Here's what I'll do then. Just grab all these guys that I don't like, and we'll take them out here. Plant them out this way. So that when we are chopping trees, then we can just come out here too. They won't be interfering with us when they're this far away. Come on. Plant, damn you. Plant faster! Plant faster! And you. Okay, good enough. How you're hovering off the ground, I don't know, but... Whatever. These things, I swear to God. I see these things, and I immediately think... Zombie. Just because of the partial shape of it. Like, I don't have... I'm not, I'm not saying I have the best vision in the world, and I'm not the worst vision in the world, but still, it's like... The, just the shape kind of freaks me out sometimes. Here, a zombie. I've got really good hearing and not so good eyesight. This is one of the reasons why games like this can freak me out. You get in close sometimes and you're just like... Don't see the zombie <laughs> until the last second. It just scares the crap out of me. Alright, take this tree down. Gonna break up a couple of boulders around our house. We got a couple that are close by. I'm gonna take those out. Oh yeah, we gotta take that. Maybe those two trees down as well. But let's pull this boulder out of here. Uh, once we get a better iron pickaxe, this is gonna go a hell of a lot faster. We'll have to break up all the gravestones, I think, as well. Thank goodness we have these iron tools now. Things go so much faster. And then once we get the higher level ones with the, with uh, uh, more durability. And we can put the uh, dies in it. It'll go even faster. Nice. Let's get this tree over here. Then I think we've got enough forged iron uh, from all the stuff we've picked up to go ahead. Let's scrap that. Got a lot of wood now. Um, to go ahead and make ourselves a new axe and a new um, pickaxe. Okay, last two trees, then we'll go inside. Grab the bicycle, head down to the auto parts store. Got to plant these two, I think. There we go. Let's go over here and plant these. Although we should probably take this, well, light pool can stay, I guess. This cross should come down. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not saying that just because I'm like, not religious, I'm just saying it because it's going to be in the way. I don't think the zombies particularly care about religious symbols. Um, okay. Over here. So, one, two, three, four. There we go. Now there's no, let's get this boulder out of here too. So we've gained just like a half an hour, to, or half an hour, half a level today, just banging shit out. Can we get this one already? We did. I wish they had, I know I've said this before, I wish they had a lawnmower in the game. You could just cut all this grass down. But, whatever. We'll deal with it. we got to take these stairs out too. Reinforce that front. Make it so that's not really an entrance. Okay, let's dump off... A bunch of this stuff in here. We only need to take a little bit of this with us. Um, so that's all that goes in there. Except for the plant fiber. That can go. We're going to have to get some more plant fiber. Uh, these can go in here. Water bottles go in here. Eggs. Okay, we got four eggs. Not bad. Alright, this stuff goes in here. Uh, iron. 229. Not very good. Ammo, uh, schematics go in the next one. Frames we'll hang on to. And this goes in here. Let's bring our bicycle down and head down. Actually, we're going to make some 
yeah, we're gonna make some uh, things here. So let's go ahead and make um, iron fire axe. Uh, let's put these on first. That'll give us plus one level, and craft that, and an iron pickaxe, and craft that. So that'll take a little while. So while those are going, let's put this in here. Uh, we can take this out, take this out, uh, modify, pull this guy out of here. And I think what we'll do is we'll leave these two tools here. And hopefully the other ones will be back by the time we get to where we're going. If not, we can just go around killing zombies till we get there. Or till they actually spawn for us. Do 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 bicycle riding. Yeah, this thing getting a bike early on really opens up the game for you. If you're in the center of a city, it's not so bad. I mean, you can spend a good amount of time going around and fighting mobs and stuff. Where are you going? Did I get her? I didn't kill her, did I? No. I put out, I made a lot of arrows last night. Let's hit up this POI. You didn't hell on any of my arrows, eh? Is that a crawler? Yep, somebody, oh, no, somebody's there though. Come on, get up. Fucking wolf. God damn wolf, where is it? They usually cry out when there's zombies around. He sat oh there he's right there. I was gonna say he sounded really close and he is. Man, as long as you don't have anything on you, it's not so bad. But uh, if you got if you're overweight Forget it. They're, they're on you. Okay, and let's take this, modify, pull this modifier out. Oh, uh, that's a crawler. Don't destroy my bicycle, you... Friggers. See ya. I guess they all know I'm here. How about you guys? Yeah, you can all see me. Let's get ready to rumble! Stay down, you're better off. Told you. Oh, I missed. Glad I got that uh, crawler there early. That's my dog. My dog. Are we fighting over food? I don't know what we're fighting over. Fighting over something. Listen to them all shuffling here. That's like gonna be another level, guys. The nurse is lagging behind. You know, that dog kind of warned us that there were zombies coming and we repaid them by killing them. Let's go down. There you go. There you go, That's that was that so hard? Thanks for the arrow. I guess we have to use this since we don't have anything else we can use. Alright. Batter up. 
And swing bada. Power attack. I normally don't use power attacks. All right, well, do we go back in there? Search this car. We might as well. We started out that POI. We might as well finish it up. Got crazy man up here. Oh yeah, we we're gonna do uh, this. Modify. We are gonna need that for breaking into the safes. Yeah! And he's down, but not out for the count. Oh! He is now. What's up, buddy? Eggs. We always... Oh, there was a zombie there for a second. Looked like a big mama almost. All right, where was I? Shh. There's a zombie right there. Do you see him? This guy respawned. Oh! I've had that happen a few times where you've kind of gone into a POI, then leave, and then come back, and it's all they've just instantly respawned already. Not sure why that is. Got his arm up. He blocked it. But not the second one. He's gone down for the count. We got some more guys in here, people. Ooh, you got some air. What about you? Ow. Right up Main Street. <laughs> How's your day going? Not so good anymore, though, I guess, eh? I think there's one more. Nope. Sorry, I was just... Picking up that that gas can to avert disaster. Ooh, green dye. Okay, let's do this. Might as well. Just in time to pick up some of this. So, yeah, if you can't tell, I'm completely ADD. I know we were on our way to the... Uh, auto parts store but there was a few things we had to pick up here on the way um, got to get this thing yeah man there's the tool and die set we were so desperately looking for oh my god that's awesome that's the first time I've gotten a tool and die set in this game Okay, that's it for looting in there. Uh, oh, you know what we want? We want the stone. Because, damn. Look at that, two hits. 138 stone for four hits. Piece of plastic. Sure. Let's scrap the... Well, let's hang on to them. Don't need the cotton. Alright, let's go. Grab this, right? Yeah. Still three hits with this thing. Ah, oh, well. Okay, let's put a few things in here so we're not over encumbered. Don't need this. This can go in here. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, nine. Good enough. All right, let's get down here. I should have worn the, worn the puffer coat today. What's up, buddy? Sorry, I can't stop. I got stuff I gotta do. Got distracted too much already. So my kid, if you haven't if you haven't noticed, my kid is uh, my wife. We're talking downstairs. They uh, got another audition for another uh, potential TV show. So they just came off of one four episodes. So really proud of them. 
Oh, we need to get out of this cold. Sure, definitely brought the puffer coat. I should just leave it in the bicycle. Well, that deer is going to run away. See ya. Okay, let's do this. There's, I think there's like three safes in here. There's one right here. Alright, there's the first one. Some ammo, nice. Now, do we check everything here? I don't, I think we did. Yeah. Oh, we didn't check that. Okay, let's check out the ones that... Yeah, you never know. There's two out here. So I noticed a big difference. As soon as I ate and drank water, once my stamina got up to max, the difference in damage went from 86 to 100. So when your stamina drops, you do do significantly less block damage, that's for sure. Get some stamina back for a second here. Two, three, and done. Okay, more ammo. Check the parts box already. And one more save here. Break this guy open. All right, let's see what's in here. Yeah, well, it's kind of a bust. Well, we didn't check that. Now, do we loot everything in here? All right, that's a functioning workbench. All right, well. Okay, let's just do this. Um, and we'll do, yeah. And we'll call it a workbench. Okay. Nice. We know where that is. I don't want to forget about it. I have a really bad tendency of saying, hey, you know what? I know there's a functioning workbench. Just have no idea where it is. Oh, this changed. Grain alcohol. Yucca juice smoothie. Beers. All right. No biggie. Okay, let's head back, drop this stuff off. Oh. I hear a zombie. Not only am I freezing, there's a zombie nearby. There he is. Let's get out of here. fast as we can, as fast as we can. Ride our bike out of this shit as fast as we can. Hey, there's the popping pills. There we go. So the popping pills, we need to find, be if we're going to make an alchemy station, we need to find two beakers to make it. That's always a pain in the ass. The worst thing is I watched a video by uh, Cap the other day, C-A-P-P-0-0. Um, I don't know if it's double zero or, or O-O, but it's Cap. Anyway, he <laughs> he's in an episode. It's like his third episode of like a random horde every night or whatever it is. And uh, he finds like three beakers in one location. And I was like, what? You know how hard it is for me to find a beaker? And you're gonna find three in one location? Like, what the hell, guy? Let's check out these two cars. We're here, we're on a bike, we're not cold. You know what, I've got my knife on me, I just realized that. Could have used the knife to carve them up, but oh well. Yeah, hunting knife. Forgot all about that. Come on. 
Eh. I think at some point we'll make a crossbow, but... Many people have said they haven't had success with a crossbow early on. I, I, I can't say whether or not that's true because I've never really tried the crossbow. So I've just been going with the bow on people's advice, so it's just kind of all it is. Alright, now do we have enough room? I think we just about have enough room here. Alright, what do we got left in here? Uh, nothing, because we were able to pick it all up somehow. Alright, I guess we had duplicates in our inventory. Ugh. Let's get in here. Okay. That part's done. Let's drop some stuff off. Meat, eggs, lard, bones, painkillers, glass jar. Uh, I think that's it. And then in here we want to drop you. Uh, yeah, we're going to be taking those apart later for parts, so that's why I've been keeping them. Tool and die set can stay down here. Uh, repair kit, no. Fuel barrel, yes. Pipes. Yep, 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 uh, yep, and then in here, of course I didn't have my lucky looter goggles on because I'm an idiot. Uh, ammo, shotgun, I gotta organize this, this chest here for sure better. Repair kits, man, we got tons of repair kits. Actually, you know what, let's leave one out right now. We're gonna repair our compound bow. Um, and then this is the stuff for sale and that, we'll put that in there. The wrench goes in with guns and tools. And then a little bit more cobblestone, a little bit more concrete. Okay, cool. So uh, let's repair this. Perfect. And we can go back out. I'm going to keep the bike on us. Let's eat something. Um, let's make our three bacon and eggs that we can make. Whatever it takes. Um, so bacon and eggs. Three is going to be. Oh, we got plenty of plenty with one wood. Let's get those going. We got lots of food. Like I'm not worried about that. Okay. So tool and die set done. Let's start working on the base here a little bit. Um, let's grab. Before we go too much farther, I want to just see here. I think we need to set the walls up outside the picket fence, at least at the front of the building. So let's grab the blocks. Uh, I'm going to take the ladders just, I don't think I'll need them, but just in case. We want to start on some spikes. We're going to need a crap ton of spikes. So um, traps, tools, wood spikes. How many can we make here? 116. Let's just make 100. That's 2,000, eh? Sure. Let's get those going. Definitely going to need a, a crap ton of them. I like to have at least the spikes three deep. Um, the great thing about them with, with screamers, if you've got your spikes three deep, like, I mean, we could go to here and around, right? Integrate the building in depth here and a double, double defended front door. Take these steps out. This will all be concrete, and then we'll find a way out of the building. Whether we dig a tunnel or whatever that ends up being. So let's try... I think that's what we'll do here. So I think we're going to need to knock out part of the wood frame here. Okay. I'm going to lay the first brick down, just so you can see how this is going to go. And we'll upgrade this later on. This is going to be like a lot of territory inside here. But um, I know we're not going to be using it all. Right, and then we'll go along here. Just outside of the fence. So somebody had mentioned... Yes, yeah, you can't build right there. Somebody had mentioned that... Um, Destroying the bird's nest gives them a chance to respawn. 
plus gives you a few more extra resources. I don't know if that's actually true or not. I'd like to know. If someone knows, please drop it in the comments section. I'm going to start breaking a few bird's nests here. So this cobblestone is just the stuff that we picked up. And we had 135 to start. Flagstone blocks. And we're almost out. So we're going to need a crap ton of cobblestone if we're going to do this. Because these are these blocks are four cobble each. And the thing is, is that it costs 10 to upgrade these to uh, bricks. So that's 135 right there. Yeah, man, we're going to need like hundreds of blocks. That's okay, though. I'm not worried about it. I mean, like I said, we're going to be going to 30. We're gonna, it's like 30 days to die, right? So got a lot of time. Let's take this down. It's going to be in our way. Oh, of course. Let's make it the most difficult way possible. I think if we take both these out, it should just collapse. Nice. That can stay, though. Zombies will just end up smashing it down anyway. No biggie. Okay. Um, so we got spikes. How much cobble we have left here? Got a crap ton, so let's just make flagstone blocks. I was going to save this to upgrade those flagstone, but can't really do that so let's um, do that and just get them going uh, we're gonna while those are actually making let's go back out here and do I want to drop down the spikes at the moment probably well yeah might as well it's not gonna get us all the way around obviously but But you can, ow. Great idea. Drop the spikes down now. Wonderful. Beautiful idea. Kill yourself in the process, why don't you? All right, bird's nest. So we got uh, no feathers, but we got a little bit of uh, organic material. I know you don't need to turn these, just looks better. Well, we should at least get this one side covered. And maybe we just focus on doing that first. I'd love to have the flagstone too high, at least all the way around. Just to, so that the zombies can just funnel around to the front of the building. They might break their way through, but with these here, at least it'll stop them from doing too much damage. Oh, I got two feathers. Okay. Fair enough. I don't know if they'll respawn, but if they do, they do. It's not like we don't have a whole world to explore to find more. Plenty of evil birds to kill, too, at the same time. So this is like 20 wood each. So every big tree is like 10 blocks, or 10 of these. All right, that's that done. 75, all right, let's see, let's make this, finish up this one round of uh, blocks here. Man, this is gonna be crazy. I don't think I've ever built a ba base this big before. I have built around houses. Like you build around a stone house or something. Okay, how many right here, right? That's better go from this side. Just to be sure. Okay, let's take these two out. Yeah, I was wrong. Good thing I went from this way. 
So I had, uh, I don't know how many blocks this is now. Okay, let's go around to the side where we've got the uh, spikes, and we'll make that too high. Get our maximum health back up. I don't know, I'm kind of almost interested in leaving this graveyard in here. Just to kind of keep it that keep the churchy vibe to it. So one of the reasons I don't like doing a lot of mining for uh, cobblestone, one you can find it in a lot of places, just dig it up. Um, but two, if I was to do it as an as an episode of just mining, it's kind of boring. Unless you got something to talk about. But even then, it's like you know. It's kind of one of those things you do, just put some music on and just kind of do it. But I like just kind of grabbing resources from the world. It's one of the reasons why I like this game so much, the world exploration. I mean, I, I've, I've said to my kids in the past, I could, I could spend my time just developing levels for this game. And when I mean levels, I just mean like um, uh, POIs for the game. I'd have no problem just spending my days just developing POIs. Ah! Search it first. Got cloth out of that. Wow. Alright. It's an interesting way to get extra resources. Alright. How much do we have left are we making? That's it. Okay, not too bad, not too bad at all. All right, we need plant fibers. We're completely out. I'm just gonna grab a few of these. I cannot believe it's like the end of the day already. At some point we're gonna have to come around here and just like, take all this out. I hate fighting zombies when there's grass around because like, you know, you see how many times you miss and hit the grass. It's kind of annoying. Okay. Um, Let's get, uh, where are we here? Maybe we can get 18 more spikes going. Let's get that going while we chop a few more trees here. Take some of these big guys down. I'm gonna need to clear this anyway because this is where our platform is gonna be for the Horde Knight. That big rock that's there off to the right, we're gonna have to take that down too. Uh, let's grab this tree. Getting tired, tired of chopping trees. We're going to need stink tons of these, so keep making them. And the day is almost completely gone. All we've done is, like, took on a mini horde, hit up a small POI for some extra stuff. Looted a couple of safes. And built a wall. That's it. I feel like I haven't done anything today. But it's all stuff that needed to be done. That's the thing, right? Like, look at that. That's going to be good. Once that's three three high and it's reinforced concrete. We did not get our levels today, though. I mean, we got two, I guess. The iron tools is a huge uh, deal for us now. As you can tell right here. Ripping through these blocks is just great. So before we end this episode, I'm going to strip this down. I'm going to throw down these spikes now that they're all built. Um, and then we're going to go inside. Uh, and we're going to build a forge. The one of the reasons why I kind of wanted to have this up first is when the forge runs, the uh, heat, which is basically the map that... Um, for human activity in a uh, any given chunk will go up because we're obviously running a forge right and then that will start to spawn in screamer zombies let's make two more and we can get this section done there we go so all we need to do is just finish this part up along here which we should easily be able to grab cobblestone and stuff so let's go inside and make that forge. So if a screamer spawns, if they, if they see you, they'll scream and, and summon in a horde, which is not what you want, obviously. Uh, let's do something here. 
let's grab you know what we're gonna leave it I was thinking about putting in a fence there but I don't think we need to do that okay um, put some of the stone in here Uh, we never did use the wooden ladders, but that's okay. Those can stay in there. I might as well put the wood frames. We're not going to need those. Bicycle stays on us. Fibers go in. And then in here. And then in here. And we will drop these down tomorrow. Take some more water out. Let's use one of these. Okay, and our bacon and eggs out of here. All right, not bad. So a forge now. Um, I need to make a bellows first, which I think we have enough gear for. Leather 20. Well, we, we got plenty here. So uh, 20 leather. Just got enough, I think. Five nails? Well, we need nails. We need duct tape. Where's our duct tape? Hello? Here it is. Got tons of duct tape. Uh, what else do we need? A pipe? Two pipes? Got lots of pipes. All right, let's craft this. We need more leather, man. We have to raid some places with leather couches and rip up the leather couches here. All right, so let's make the bellows. Get that crafting. Can put this away. Now, I know we need one short pipe for the, if I'm not mistaken, we need that for um, furnace. Uh, no, sorry. Um, yeah. Um, clay soil, right? I was trying to. Sorry, I was just trying to remember what what the hell we needed. We got thirteen. Let's go outside real quick. We don't got much time. Don't think we're going to have enough time to get enough clay. Let's go across the street here real quick. Boom. 12 minutes to spare. All right, so let's make the bellows, or the uh, forge now. I gotta decide where that's gonna go. I think it's probably gonna go down below. Maybe I should leave it up here though. I'm very tempted to put it down below, but I think this section here, I'm gonna be making concrete and armored. So I think maybe leaving up here is better. Now we got the the tower up there too, which we're gonna make a, th a ladder and stuff up to the tower at some point. But yeah, let's drop our forge here. Uh, I wanna probably put it on this side more or less, maybe. And I'm kind of worried without the front covered in spikes. Um. Sure. All right, let's get this working. Uh, don't know how much wood we're going to need here. We're going to need clay in there. We've got 31. Actually, put this in here. Uh, 31 clay. We're going to need the iron we have, which is in here. i got to really specialize these. I want to have more than one forge, but I want to. we definitely need more leather. Um, but i got to specialize them. I want to have one for making um, uh, brass and... Um, and lead so that we have uh, we can make our bullets out of one and then one for concrete uh, or more than one for concrete obviously but one for just iron which is what this will be I wish we had an idea of how long it would take to do this that's 86 minutes of burn time which is not at all what we're going to need for that Wish they had another way of segmenting the uh, 
supplies too. Like if you right click and drag, they should give you an option to select how many you want. But they don't. No big deal. Alright. Yeah, so each one of these is going to give us five. And then we can start making forged iron, which is great. Um, we can make rebar frames, which are down... Uh, where's the rebar? Right here. Um, so, um, that I think... When can we start making rebar? Oh, we need an anvil in there. Where's our anvil? Do we not have an anvil? Oh, we had an anvil. I thought we found... Oh, we did. Right here. Durr. I knew we had one. There we go. Now we can make a lot of stuff. A lot more stuff, anyway. Rebar frames. Cool. Uh, we'll make these guys, and then when we apply the concrete mix that we had to them, it'll make uh, reinforced concrete right away. Um, but I'm more, I'm more worried about... Like, I could have done this with the walls around the building, but I'm more worried about using this to... Um, to uh, make our um, horde base at the back or p build around the building. Um, huh. Sorry, my kid just left me a note here. Hey dad, read this when you when you can. Just a reminder to you to go to bed early. You need to wake up at 6 a.m. and we need to be out of the house by 6.45 a.m. Thank you, because they're going on their trip to Ottawa tomorrow. So we gotta be out of the house early. Uh, nice to have those little reminders. All right, okay, so yeah, we'll be using the rebar frames uh, for the reinforced concrete, but you know, we don't really have a lot of concrete right now. We got like what, 56 blocks worth or something. Yeah, so once that happens, we're going to be building out back and doing that. Uh, either that or fortifying this area, one of the two, but we'll figure it out. All right, going to leave the episode there, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I think tomorrow we're going to go, we have a look at the map here. I think we'll, we'll ride our bike down. Um, and check out this mine. Right? We'll go down here, check the mine out. Um, possibly as we go through towns, if we see uh, any concrete stacks or whatever, we'll pick some up on the way. Um, and we're going to go check out that mine. Probably spend the night there and I'll come back the next day. Uh, it's nice to know we have two workbenches nearby. Yeah, the one in town is a little... This one's a little better, but it's cold, so... Anyway, going to end the episode there. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, we'll see everybody later.